Okay, so um, let's uh, let's get started. Um, so um, hello everyone. Um, so welcome to our today's Emu Zoom seminar. Um, it's uh, it's really my pleasure to uh, welcome uh, our today's uh, speaker, Dr. Liu Zhi from Shanghai Immune Therapy Institute, um, also Shanghai Chaotong University School of Medicine. <clears throat> so um, Liu Zhi actually is a uh, relatively fresh PI. Um, so um, he actually just to start to um, join the the institute and start his independent um, research program. Um, since last year. So a very, very brief, um, hold on, a very brief introduction about Zhi. So um, Zhi actually um, uh, completed his uh, undergraduate study in biological sciences in Anhui Normal University. And then uh, he continued to pursue his PhD training in cell biology in University of uh, Chinese Academy of Science. Um, and then uh, from 2016, um, uh, she decided to um, come to the United States to, uh, to do his uh, postdoc training in Salk Institute uh, for uh, Biological Studies uh, with Dr. Chen Ye, who actually also gave us a very nice uh, presentation last year uh, on T-Rex cells. So um, <clears throat> I think from uh, 2022, um, uh, as I just mentioned, Zhu decided uh, after he finished his uh, postdoc training, he decided to return to China and then start his independent uh, research program in uh, Jiao Tong University in Shanghai. So currently, his lab is mainly um, try to understand the the machinery which underlying the traditional and the untraditional function of T Rex cells in autoimmune disease, tumor immunity, and tissue repair, uh, and the regeneration. And more specifically, his lab um, are interested in three different problems, uh, which including uh, the genetic, epigenetic, and environment factors, which can potentially influence the uh, 4P3, which is the master trans transcription factor in Treg cells, um, and then Treg immune suppressive function. And now the second part is uh, um, his lab interested in studying um, signal uh, pathway, which involve in tissue injury which can um, induce the non-classical functions of T-Rex cells and then potentially uh, the related factors produced by T-Rex cells, um, which can impact tissue stem cells or other uh, parenchyma uh, cells during tissue regeneration, which I think we are gonna hear about uh, today. And the last part of his lab interest is to study the heterogeneity of T-Rex cells in non-lymphoid tissues and then the uh, canonic and non-canonic functions of T-Rex cells, which uh, are exerted, exerted by different individual T-Rex subsets, and also how individual T-Rex subsets integrate with um, other immune and non-immune cells to repair and regenerate tissues. So I think uh, without further ado, uh, thank you very much Drew, for um, talking with us today on our seminar uh, platform. Uh, please go ahead. Okay, uh, thank you, Tran, for the uh, very nice introduction and uh, thank for the opportunity to share my past work uh, on this platform. So today I'm going to tell uh, to a short story about uh, rectal T cells. Uh, I think uh, uh, I think for this audience, they're, they're uh, quite familiar with this uh, CD4 uh, differentiation development and um, uh, so for T-Rex cells, there are two types of uh, T-Rex cells. One is called uh, semi-T-Rex uh, cells, which is uh, developed from the uh, in the thymus. And the other is called the prefer, uh, preferred T-Rex cells, which is uh, di di differentiated from naive T cell, especially in the mucosal tissue, such as in the column. So these two types of T-Rex cells collectively maintain the immune homostasis and their dysfunction will lead to autoimmune disease. And also it can be a function as a barrier to a tumor immunity. Um, t rex cells can not only uh, circulate between uh, uh, lymphoid tissues, but they can also migrate and reside in non lymphoid tissue to perform uh, both uh, immune and non-immune functions. So today I'm uh, my first story is about uh, 
uh, regulation of direct cell differentiation by the uh, 3D genome reorganization. And the second story is about the uh, non immune function of T Rex cells in uh, tissue regeneration. So, as a T, as a T cell person, I think uh, most of us are, uh, are trying to understand the, uh, the different layer of mechanical underlying T cell differentiation. Uh, differentiation. For T Rex cells, since the discovery of uh, identification of uh, phosphorus as the master regulator of uh, uh, T-Rex cells, uh, tremendous uh, progress has, has been made. So now we know that uh, different signaling, uh, such as uh, um, TG-beta and R2 signaling can initiate uh, uh, T-Rex differentiation, and also the uh, T-Rex signaling is quite important for, for, for their uh, uh, T-Rex differentiation. So on pound received the different signaling from the cytokine or the cell cell uh, contest, so we so we call this uh this uh effectors like uh, modifiers that can initiate the T cell uh, differentiation. Uh, after receiving this signal, they can also they can uh, drive the transcription uh, cascade uh, to 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 drive the T rex differentiation. So different transcription factors, uh, they can not only um. They they have to need uh, interact with the uh, chromosome, uh, either uh, so then the ep epigenetic modification on the chromatin is quite important for the for to uh, the transcription factors to affect their exert their functions. For T Rex cells, we we know uh, that there are uh, different like uh, like maybe four uh, enhancers that uh, in the phosphorus locus is quite important for. Uh, to uh, fast PCA expansion, we call the sense one to three, and zero. And the sense one to three was uh, uh, initially uh, discovered by my post mentor, uh, Dr. Yejun. And also, there definitely have some uh, TRX specific histone modifications. So this component, uh, so this uh, TRX uh, transcription factor and the epsilon interaction will drive the the the. Uh, cell type specific uh, transcription uh, for for T Rex cells. So, but the uh, last is know about uh, uh, the three D genome uh, conformation uh, role in, in during the T Rex cell differentiation. Uh, so, so particularly we are very interested in understanding the three uh, the high order X three dimensional chromatin architecture during T Rex differentiation. So just a brief introduction of the uh, 3D chromatin architecture. As we all know that the linear DNA uh, is about two meters, but the, our, like the cell nucleus is only a few uh, micrometers. So how this, uh, uh, this uh, long DNA is wrapped and packed into this tiny nucleus is, all, is always a fascinating and uh, a question. With the development of uh, the uh, com chromatin ca conformation capture te technology, we now uh, tremendous progress has been made in in the uh, past maybe ten or uh, ten years. So now we know that uh, the the chromatin architecture can be uh, organized uh, hierarchically into different skills. So the chromatin fibers can further. Uh, fold into and form in this uh this so-called chromatin loops uh, through the cohesion and the cdcf uh, uh mediated loop is extrusion model and uh, beyond that uh, the chromatin loops can further uh, form the tad uh, or the topological assertion domains so the topological assertion domains they can restrain the uh, like the enhancer uh, this is elements the interaction with the uh, the 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 genes in the same test, but not can uh, cost uh, regulate uh, other genes in the neighboring tests. And and uh, the uh, large beyond that, there also there are some like common compartments. Uh, so there are mainly uh, mainly two types of common compartments. One is called uh, called a uh, called a and b compartment. A compartment is uh, is uh, basically is active and uh, all the uh, active gene are, are from this uh, compound A and B is repressive. 
So, uh, and and so this chromatin, uh, in the past ten years, a lot of study have shown that uh, actually the three D uh, genome genome is not a, a static. Uh, during development and the cell differentiation, there this three D genome organized are uh, undergoing reorganization between like uh, the precursor cells and to the uh, between the differentiated cells. So for for T cells, especially for T rex cells, there a uh, very little study about the three D genome during the T rex cell differentiation, and uh, so in this uh, project, we are we are very interested to understanding uh, how the T rex uh, specific common structure is established during the development, and what's their relationship between the, the common structure and the gene expression. And uh, then we are also very interested in the uh, how the tumor specific common structure is established. Especially, there's some uh, literature report that phosphate three can fun maybe function as uh, loop anchors like the CTCF or, or cohesin. So with this uh, uh, this question in mind, we uh, begin to to map in three D uh, common structure in T rex cells. By this uh high C, um, I think there's um, this technique uh now is not the uh, I think it's very popular and uh, maybe uh, um so brief introduction so for for high C experiment we first uh use the PF, uh PFA to cross link the the DNA and the the, the pro and the protein so then in in this case the 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 DNA in the um proximity will be uh, cross-linked and then we cut with the uh, restriction enzyme and then we can fill the ends with the, the biotin and then re-like it. So this, uh, the DNA the that's uh, quite far from far away from each other in the linear uh, chromatin, but they can, now they can be like it together and then we can uh, sync thing and uh, to show their interactions. So first we test, uh, we can do this experiment be, uh, in our hand uh, in co collaboration with Jess Dixon and the uh, lab who is a pioneer in the field. So now we can say uh, we can uh, uh, successfully do the high speed experiment. We can see the this uh, compartment uh, feature and, uh, and also the test and the sub test. So then, uh, so we start to, the first question we want to uh, know is that uh, how dynamic uh, chromatin attached reorganization during TRAC development. So we profiling uh, chromatin uh, interaction across like uh, different uh, T cells in the thymus and also in the, in the spleen from the double negative to uh, double positive to the single positives, uh, CD4 single positive and also uh, during development, there are two uh, precursors, t rex precursor, one is called a phosphate 3 positive t rex precursor, and uh, the other is CD25 positive uh, t rex precursor, and they both can uh, mature to this uh, CD25 and the phosphate 3 double positive t rex cells, and uh, they can migrate after uh, development in the thymus, they can further migrate to uh, into the uh, spleen and uh, perform their functions. So. So from from this, uh, first I just want to show uh, some of the example. Uh, so when we um, profiling the uh, chromatin interactions across uh, different uh, T cell populations, so we for some like a DNA interaction, for example, in this low low side uh, in the chromosome two, we could see their interaction was uh, uh, gradually disappeared during the uh lineage commitment. And uh, for this uh, low set in the chromatin 16, they, it seems that they uh, lost from the uh, double negative stage to the uh, to the double positive stage, but then they can regain their uh, gene interactions uh, uh, during the uh, later uh, track linear com commitment. And for others, we can also some like a common interaction in this low side of uh, common three, they can progressively gain their interaction uh, uh, frequency. 
So, so this is not uh, something new and we is totally scared because uh, we, we definitely can identify uh, th this, th this pattern in different like a system. Uh, then we use the uh, uh, k-means classing to profiling like uh, um, all the differ differential uh, common inter interaction across the, all the uh, cell populations we, 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 we checked. Uh, so in this heat map, we could say that each, each population, they have di a distinct pattern of commenting interactions from double negative to double positive to, and also single positive. Um, uh, one thing I need to I, I need to point out is that uh, uh, it's the last two the last two four columns, which is uh, CD four po uh, single positive, false PC positive, and the CD twenty five uh, negative, or and uh, this is the false PC uh, T rex precursor and the Plus PC and CD25 uh, double positive, uh, like uh, mature semi T Rex cells. So, so if you compare this, uh, this uh, false PC positive cells um, with other uh, T cell population, we, we can see these two cell, uh, their chromatin interaction uh, pattern are very similar, but were distinct from the other population. So, I think this, this data set indicate that. Uh, uh, the T Rex definitely chromatin architecture is highly correlated with phosphate expression, um, and uh, maybe phosphate have an important role to uh, establish the T Rex uh, specific chromatin uh, organization. Uh, since the um, we cannot isolate in enough like uh, uh, cells from the thymus, we so we next uh, continue like uh, to pro to profiling the, to comparison the conversion T cell and also the T Rex cells uh, with their, for their common interactions. So here is one example for, uh, uh, which is the SOX2 gene low site. SOX2 is highly expressed in T Rex cells. And from this example, we could see there's a lot of, uh, uh, there's more DNA interaction uh, compound in, in T Rex cells compound in, in conversion T cells. T Rex cells, uh, conversion T cells. So systemically, we can uh, unbiasedly identify um, mm, around uh, 2,000 uh, uh, DNA interaction uh, uh, frequency in, in T Rex cells and also in, in conversion T cells. Although this total, uh, this number is a count only a small uh, ratio in the total DNA. Uh, Interactions we identified, uh, I think the 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 number is less than uh, I think it's less than uh, zero point five percent. So, but but uh, so this may although this seems a uh, is this is not a big difference, but uh, consider uh, the di uh, differently expressed gene between conversion T cell and T Rex cells is only five percent, and the the DNA high hypersensitivity side is also less than one percent uh, differentially between T Rex cells and the conversion T cells. So I think uh, this day, uh, this small uh, difference is uh, consistent with the appraised uh, uh, understanding between T Rex cells and conversion T cells. Um, so then, does this uh, small uh, portion of uh, DNA uh, counter uh, interactions really? have some meaning for, for the gene expression. So we, we uh, cross-reference the um, different chromatin interaction anchors with different expressed genes. And we, indeed, we found that uh, a, a very significant portion of the uh, uh, overlap between these two uh, data set. And not surprisingly, the t rex genes are, are highly enriched in that T Rex specific chromatin interaction anchors, and also the T Rex T conversion T uh, conversion uh, specific genes are highly enriched in these uh, uh, T conversion specific chromatin interaction anchors. Um, so then we further uh, uh, to understand how the uh, the the gene interaction influences the gene expression. As we all know that uh, for particular uh, for the 
particular for particular uh, loop anchors, they usually they only majority of them only have one part anchor partner, and uh, but some of them may also have multiple anchor partners. So in T Rex, as we we could see, there's uh, the majority are only have one, but there are few of them have multiple uh, anchor partners. When we profile it, uh, check their uh, expression, uh, gene expression, we found that uh, the the genes with high uh, multiple anchor partner are uh, enriched highly. There are more um, more portion of uh, differently expressed genes. And uh, here is one example. Here is the is uh, this gene is called the PDGRE4. So in, in conventional T cells, there's one only one uh, common interaction uh, anchors between uh, for them. But in T rex cells, we can identify multiple uh, anchor partners. And uh, totally, we can say that the gene overlapping with highly interaction low C, which uh, all of them have four different interaction anchors. From this list, we can see a lot of, of T rex signal genes like IKZF2. Uh, GARP and the SOX2, and also the PD, uh, the PD3D in the conversion T cells. Um, so, the next question we want to address is how uh, is T Rex specific chromatin architecture established? As I mentioned earlier, that, uh, in, in, in this field, we know that the CTCF and the cohesin is quite important for the uh, maybe for the, all the uh, uh, chromatin local information. But uh, for when we uh, check the relative en enrichment of CDF, CF, and the cohesion, and uh, together with other transcription factors that uh, was known for important for TRI differentiation. Uh, surprisingly, we didn't we didn't find that the CTCF and the cohesion is uh, is highly enriched in this uh, uh, TRI specific interaction anchors, but. Uh, the FOSP3, the master regulator of uh, T-Rex cells, is ranking the first. So we, so so next we want to see if uh, does FOSP3 really play, play an important role in the looping uh looping information. So then we take our advantage of um the available uh, uh, uh mouse line ones called the uh, FOSP3 uh, GFP, which can use GFP to isolate the T-Rex cells. And the other is called the FOSP3 Kiko mass, which is the um, uh, three-stop codon was inserted in uh, after GFP and uh, uh, in the first uh, exon. So we call this is, uh, uh, this GFP, um, white type GFP, uh, we isolate the white type T-Rex cell from this uh, white type GFP transgenic mass. And also we isolate the, the uh the wannabe T Rex cells, uh, which actually uh, without uh, uh they don't have a function for P three inspection because they stop a codon, so then we profile in their uh, uh did the high C experiment and the comparison compare uh, their during interaction frequency, uh so here we could see their uh uh there were one hundred and twenty five uh gene low side out of uh, uh, roughly. To sound the gene uh, total low side uh, uh, during interactions are differently expressed. Although this is a small uh, portion, but if we uh, profiling the uh, overall uh, this, um, change of uh, uh, DNA interactions between uh, T Rex cells and the conversion T cells, so we could see uh, there uh, after FOSP3 non cut the uh, the T Rex specific uh, carbon interactions were uh, were lost whether while the T conversion specific chromatin interaction was, was increased. So here is one example, the uh, IKZF2, uh, which encode uh, the, the Helios with uh, our gene for TRI function. We could see there, there are much more DNA interaction, like a TAT domain uh, in the TRI cells, but not in conversion T cells. So after FOSP3 uh, uh, in the knockout, the, their Interaction or TAT domain was uh, largely disappeared. So then, the next uh, we want to further uh, understanding how FOSP3 uh, influenced the uh, gene uh, interactions. We 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 use another assay called the proximity ligation assistant chip seq. It's plaque seq, uh, which uh, developed in in uh, BN's lab, 
it's a combination of uh, uh, high C and the cheap seek. So this a this LC can uh we 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 did this fast P3 plaque seek, which enable us to uh get the high resolution of a fast P3 binding uh loops. So here is the 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 map of uh how the fast P3 plaque seek looks like. So and we could see that we can detect a lot of uh, is the so-called focal loops uh, between like a, a FOSB3 um, binding uh, site. So totally we can identify uh, around the 2000 uh, um, anchors that, uh, that uh, overlap with, uh, the majority of them overlap with FOSB3 binding site. If we classify their, uh, this FOSB3 uh, um, Associated um, anchors, so we we could see the 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 enhancer enhancer interaction and also the uh, gene enhancer interaction and the gene gene expression uh, interaction is highly uh, significantly enriched compared to the other items. So this suggests that uh, phosphate associating chromatin interactions can link uh, this uh, enhancer to the direct signal genes. Here is one uh, of your example, like the IKZF2, uh, the, which is highly uh, uh, especially in TRS and uh, also uh, can be identified uh, from the uh, plastic data set. Um, then the last question we really want to understand, uh, can FOSP3 uh, is, uh, can function as a title to bridge uh, this uh, DNA together? Uh, the question we uh, we came out to is because there's a paper in 2011 uh, when they uh, uh, published by Lin Chen's uh, group they, when they uh, uh, resolved the crystal structure of fast the fox hair domain they they found this uh, fast piece came from this dom so called domain uh, swap dimer in the in the middle and uh, which can bring uh, bridge to the uh, molecular of DNA together. So in this case, it, it indicates that FOSP3 may be a function or test to bring a DNA together. So then we make this, um, and the, and the, in that paper, they also found the mutation that disruption of this domain swapper uh, interface, they can diminish uh, the dime formation, but without comp compromising FOSP3 DNA binding. So we, we generate this, uh, Phosphate domain swipe uh, mutant mice, and uh, these mice are pretty uh, are healthy when they were young. We now uh, we we didn't see any phenotype when they, uh, before uh, two months, but uh, gradually we can detect that there's a lot of uh, active T cells uh, when they aged around the age to one year, and uh, so we think they. Uh, so then the next we want to see if they. Uh, this uh, FOSP3 domain swap dimer is really important for the uh, formation of TRS specific chromatin interactions. Uh, very uh, sadly, and uh, and uh, we didn't see any different uh, any difference between the uh, white type TRX and the uh, uh, DSM TRX cells. So this indicated the FOSP3 dom uh, domain swap dimerization. It's not required for the uh, formation of TRS specific, specific chromatin interactions. So uh, then, then we are very sad about this data set, but uh, then we continue to un uh, try to understand how, why there's a defect in, in uh, there's autoimmune disease in, in these mice, but uh, uh, without affecting their um, uh, chromatin interactions. Uh, we perform the RSEQ between the white type TRS cells and the DSM TRS cells. Definitely, we can see a lot of gene uh, dif differently expressed between uh, uh, white type and DS DSM uh, TRS cells. Then we also perform the cut and run uh, to see if their, the phosphate domain swap mutation can, can uh, lead to defective DNA uh, binding activity. Indeed, we, we, we did see some low set uh, 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 phosphate mutation, uh, their binding activity was reduced after, after the, this um, mutation. 
So here is one example. Uh, as well, the IK the LLRC uh, thirty two is a, a, a T-Rex energy, and we didn't see any like difference between uh, uh, one type uh, and the DSM uh, T-Rex in terms of their gain uh, interaction frequencies. But when we perform the counter run assay, we found that uh, the uh, the 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 so phosphate binding to this uh this one of the uh low side uh in the IK uh I L says uh, 33 their binding uh their binding intensity was reduced and uh, this might explain uh why the uh why we can see there there's uh autoimmune disease in, in this mutant mice. So in general we think that uh, the defective uh, phosphate binding results in the reduced expansion of uh, uh, the uh, uh, this garbage gene and other T-Rex signal genes, and that may explain the phenotype of this mutant mice, uh, which is not uh, uh, is not uh, consistent with their uh, previously in vitro assay. Um, so, so in this uh, uh, project, so, uh, the take home message is that uh, uh, we 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 identify and we uh, found that uh, the lineage transfer factor FOSB3 can orchestrate the reorganization, reorganization of T-Rex specific company architecture to establish rectory T cell identity. Uh, one of the um, reserved questions uh, is that uh, is does FOSB3 really can can or cannot function or as a test to bridge uh, these are uh, DNA elements. Um, so I think the probably uh, you guys already know that uh, uh, the same group uh, is so uh, so heard. I think uh, who uh, gave a, a a a talk on, on this platform a few weeks ago, and they, uh, their lab found that uh, actually the uh, the phosphate uh, domain web diamond is a dysfunction and it does not exist in the physiological condition. So and uh, and, and the, in last year, I, I think it's like uh, uh, um, in December they 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 res resolved a new structure of phosp three and they uh, they resolve, revealed a, a very beautiful lab uh, lab like uh, structure of phosp three, uh, which can uh, this like uh, ten uh, phosp three uh, follicles can from uh, like a. Uh, uh, the the real and uh, then can bridge the two uh, DNA molecules together. So still, it seems like FOSB3 uh, can function as test to bridge uh, this the this the DNA together. But uh, uh, we need to uh, I think a future work need to further uh, uh, dissect if, if this really happening in in the in vivo system by making the this. Um, uh, not called uh, mutant mice. Uh, the last, um, the last, uh, the next few uh, minutes, I will uh, quickly go through my second story is about the non immune function of T rex cells in tissue regeneration. I think when people talk about the T rex cells, our body are thinking about their uh, very potent uh, immune suppressive functions, they can suppress uh, uh, maybe both the innate immune response, uh, in, in innate immune response and also the adaptive immune response. But in the non lymph tissue, uh, their uh, T-Rex cells, they, they are not only um, immune cells uh, residing in the, in, but more of the cells are the non-immune non cells. And uh, so we are trying to interesting to understand whether T-Rex cells can uh, have direct function or uh, role in, in this non-immune cells. Uh, I think the 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 non the, the tissue T rex this field was really I think uh, mm, um, uh, their work was really pioneered by the uh, group from uh, Damascus, uh, who uh, first uh, discovered that uh, T rex are in the uh, fat tissue uh, can regulate the glucose glucose uh, metabolism in in the year two thousand nine, and later a lot of study. Uh, study, uh, study, study to re reveal that the T-Rex cells in, in, in the skin, they can promote hair regeneration and also the wood healing. 
And in the brain, when the ischemia stroke happens, they can also promote a, a neurological recovery. And in the muscle, they can also promote muscle regeneration after muscle injury. And then in the lung, they can promote lung epithelial regenerate uh, repel after uh, uh, influ influenza infection. So, so this now, uh, so this so-called uh, tissue spe uh, specialized function uh, is not very clean because uh, although uh, in uh, we can say uh, TRSS can perform different functions in different tissue, but uh, we really don't know if it's because their immune classical immunosuppressive function or their that it can independently perform um, non-immune function in, in these tissues. So I'm trying to uh, interest in, in this, uh, uh, the T-Rex and the tissue snapshot cross talk because there are a lot of study like in uh, reveal that in the skin, in the muscle, uh, both in the uh, skeletal muscle and the heart muscle, and also in the bone marrow, they, they reveal, reveal that T-Rex has um, uh, to some extent, they can regulate this, uh, tissue stem cell activity. So we uh, we are trying to understand uh, how the T-Rex cells can uh, affect the uh, tissue stem cell activity. And uh, so, so in pre study, all, almost all of the um, all, all of the study are using the FOSP3 DTRMIs to knock out the FOSP3, completely knock out the FOSP3, and they can observe that. Uh, after the injury, the uh, after and also use the DTRMIs, they can observe that the inflammatory response is up, and also uh, later the tissue stem cell uh, proliferation activation and differentiation is uh, impelled. Um, so they uh, so there's an indicated there's a crosstalk between the TREG and the tissue stem cells, but uh, none of them can clearly show that the uh, TREG cells can directly affect the tissue stem cell activity without affecting the tissue, uh, the tumor immunosuppression function. So we think uh, to answer this question, we need to uh, identify that uh, 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 up signal, upstream signaling on point injury can, uh, can, can distinguish the poor regenerative function for the uh, immunosuppression function uh, of T-Rex cells. And uh, then we also need to uh, identify uh, growth factors that can mediate uh, the direct uh, TRL and uh, stem cell crosstalk. So among their, their um, although their TRL cells have been reported in, uh, in the skin, in the muscle, and in the bone marrow, they can have a crosstalk with, uh, with stem cells. We, but we uh, choose skin as a model because um, unlike, unlike other tissue, the skin uh, uh, harbor a very high portion of the T-Rex cells in, in the skin. Uh, you can up, up to 60% of the total CD4 in the, in the mouse skin. So I think it's even higher than in the, in the column, which we usually think there have a lot of T-Rex cells uh, there in the column. And uh, secondly, uh, the T Rex cells uh, uh, research in um, uh, have found that the T Rex cells are, are mainly located this uh, this uh, uh, hair follicle structure, and uh, and uh, and uh, um, there's a paper from uh, from cell in in 2017 from USSF. They found that uh, uh, T Rex cells can have an effect uh, on the hair follicle stem cell activation, and lastly. If we want to identify our signaling that can initiate the T-Rex and stem cell crosstalk, uh, we need to, uh, I think the, um, we, uh, the skin is, uh, is a, a good model a system because the skin is also considered as an endocrine organ, which can uh, locally secrete a lot of uh, hormones and other cytokines. And, uh, and then we use this hair regeneration to study uh, TRL and the stem cell crosstalk. Uh, so this model is very uh, widely used in the stem, uh, stem cell field, and it's, it's very easy to perform. Uh, you, you grab a mice and uh, around eight weeks, and you do the, the clip the, the, the hairs, and you use the hair removal cream to get rid of the hair roots. And then by this treatment, they can initiate can initiate the hair regeneration process 
overseen uh, and uh, can complete their new hair regeneration in, in two weeks. And the first thing we did is to and uh, uh, is did uh, is to check the hormones is secretion after hair depletion. And uh, interestingly, we found the glucocorticoids uh, levels uh, uh, greatly upper regulated in the skin, but not in the serum. So this uh, indicate the hair depletion can induce local pro production of glucocorticoids. And uh, then we use this uh, uh, gel conditional compromise, and we found that uh, the conditional compromise can barely grow back their health in, within uh, two weeks. Um, then we use another um, mouse model, which is called a nature hair growth. So this, so the, in this model, you only need to to shave the hair like we do the hair cut, and then wait for another maybe uh, two months or so, and the the, the nature hair growth can complete, and you can see the hair coat was uh, re 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 reappear in in these mice, and for the uh, gel condition lock mice. We can see they can barely uh, enter the next hair, nature hair growth cycle, but uh, in the in the wet time they can progressively uh, finish their their hair, uh, nature hair growth. Then, uh, since the hair regeneration or hair growth is uh, mainly is executed by the hair follicle stem cells, and we indeed we found uh, uh, that hair follicle stem cell proliferation was defective in the in this gel condition of my my by facts and also by the immune fluorescence staining. Um, then then the real question becomes uh, is although we can see the gel singling can affect the tyroid and uh, cells to uh, uh, facilitate hair regeneration, but uh, is this because the uh, tyroid depression uh, uh, singling deficiency affect the tyroid suppressive function? Or is because they, they can initiate the their cross, direct crosstalk. So we 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 do the immune cell profiling uh, between wet type and uh, knock on my condition knock my after health depletion. And uh, no matter for uh, false P3 itself, and also for other inflammatory cytokine like in the from gamma or 17, uh, we 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 uh, barely see any significant difference between the wet type and the condition knock on uh, furthermore, in other, we also try other uh, 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 inflammatory uh, disease mouse model like E. e. colitis and the listeria infection. So in all of the animal model we checked, we didn't see any significant dif uh, difference between conditional cow mice and the wet mice. So, in, so this really suggests that the GR differential doesn't impair tyroid expressive function. Uh, then the next question will become uh, which growth factors can directly mediate the tyroid and the stem cell cross talk. We hypothesis that the tyroid cells can uh, secrete some growth factors as a signal to uh, then they can uh, interact with the hair follicle with the, their receptor or receiver and then they drive the stem cell acti uh, activity transition. So we perform the RSIG from these uh, two cell types and uh, Perform differential ligand and receptor pairs, and we identify TG beta three as a promising candidate. So, as TG beta three, I think um, it's less familiar to us because uh, we when we we know that TG beta one is quite uh, important for TRAG to 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 uh, suppress other immune uh, cells activity. So, the first thing is uh, we 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 want to see. Uh, how gel signaling affects TG beta 3 expression? We take a spleen, uh, spleen T Rex cells and use the desmesome to, to um, activate the gel signaling. And we, we, we found that uh, uh, gel signaling activation can uh, greatly increase TG beta 3 expression. And, uh, and the mechanically, mechanically, we found that uh, uh, after gel signaling activation, the, the gel can can bind to this uh, uh, TJ beta three uh, locals. I think uh, we 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 found that uh, uh, this site can function as an enhancer by CRISPR, CRISPR knockout. So we we indeed we found the GR signaling and the fault P three can uh, co co bound to this uh, TJ beta three lo locals and induce expression. And lastly, we 
uh, then, uh, want to see whether TGP3 really put, play an important role in the TRAC and the stem cell crosstalk. We first uh, utilize this uh, TRAC and the uh, Herfolic stem cell co co culture system, which uh, was not developed in, in, in my lab, uh, in, our, uh, in my post lab, but uh, it's from uh, Eli Fuchs lab, which we, we interesting, we found that in their culture medium, they have this hydrocortisone, which is uh, like a agonist, like a hormone that can initiate your signaling activation. So we try to block in uh, the TGPS3 uh, in, this thing, in this system, and we found that blocking TGPS3 can inhibit the hypothesis stem cell uh, cloning formation or size. Uh, lastly, we generate this uh, TGP3 conditional outcome to really address is to that uh, the TGP3 that produced by skin by T Rex cells is essential for hair regeneration. Again, we use this uh, depletion induced hair regeneration mouse model. Although this is not uh, as severe as the gel conditional outcome, but we we can still see. Uh, the hair regeneration is severely delayed in, in, in this TGP3 condition outcome. And also for the nature health growth, we can also see their, uh, their nature health growth is, uh, is delayed. So lastly, we want to know, uh, say, if the TGP3 um, um, uh, can re uh, restore the hair regeneration defect in, in the uh, gel condition of mice. We just uh, injection the TGP3 in, intradermally into the skin, and we we found that the TGP3 can to can rescue this uh, defect to some extent. So in this study, we found that the, the uh, after skin inju injury, they can locally induce the production for glucocorticoid, and the uh, glucocorticoid can initiate the T-rex and uh, tissue stem cell crosstalk. Uh, uh, through the TGP3 and uh, finally to pro promote the tissue regeneration. And all this happened uh, uh, without the affection that uh, TRAC immunosuppressive functions. So in this case, we we can see that we, we can clearly show that the TRAC cells can pro perform their pro regenerative function or non immune function independently from their uh, canonical immunosuppressive functions. Um, and uh, the last uh, slide is about uh, the technical message that uh, uh, for our study and also for other study, uh, um, especially from the USS group, uh, Microsoft group, uh, we could say that uh, uh, for people who have some hair loss concern, if we really want to take care of my, our hair, so we probably need to take care of uh, the skin t -rex cells. And lastly, so I, I I'd like to uh, thank my uh, post mentor, Ej, and uh, my uh, uh, collaborator, Israel Jess Dixon, who helped us a lot on the high projects and other um, uh, grand, uh, collaborators. And also, um, um, after returning to uh, to Shanghai, we 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 have a small group of uh, people in our lab, uh, only five. And also there's some uh, funny source uh, after uh, in last year. Uh, and also we are, we are recruiting and uh, anyone interested in the tissue T-Rex uh, can contact me. Uh, thank you.